Hello again, and welcome to the Peak Performance Protocol Series. A lot of you have been asking, what can we eat? We don't want our blood sugars to go too high or too low. We're trying to keep it everything neutralized. So you definitely don't want to suffer from hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia. So I get it. Stick to this plan. Rule of thumb, 60, 30, 10. 60% 60 carbohydrates, 30% fats, and 10% protein. Why? Most sickness and disease does come from an abundance amount of carbs in the diet. However, that is going to be the processed and refined carbs. Now, when I say 60, 30, and 10, I'm talking about 60% of the wholesome natural carbs that you have to get into your system, especially for diabetics. You need the right fiber. So carbs come in three phases. You have your sugar, your starch, and your fiber. Make sure that you're getting the right sources for each one of those. Now, when you have large amounts of carbs, processed, refined, pastries, cakes, bread, white rice, white bread, all of these things, you are going to suffer from insulin resistance. So the cells are already storing glucose in the form of glycogen. So when it stores glucose in the form of glycogen, which is our quick release stores of glucose. So whenever you need that energy, if you work out early in the morning, you don't even need to eat anything because you have quick, quick release stores of glucose. However, when you have an overabundant amount of glucose within the cells already, and on top of that, you're still eating the high amounts of refined and processed carbs. Well, now you got the glucose, you're burning, but you stored all the glycogen, got enough in your cells. Your pancreas is still kicking out a bunch of insulin. After a while, your cells are gonna say, listen, I had enough, and now it has to get stored somewhere else. So the insulin is still gonna be kicking out, but your insulin is no longer gonna be used as that key to unlock the door to the cells in order for the glucose to come in. And guess where the insulin is going to be stored? Fat cells. So here it is. It's the high carb diet that gave us these different issues, these different complications in the body. Take into consideration how many calories you're putting in every day. Don't pay attention to your total daily energy expenditure. What we're looking at is at least 2,000 calories. And remember, calories is not a component of food. It is just the result of the combustion of the energy producing nutrients. And what are the energy producing nutrients? Carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. So carbohydrates, be sure that you're getting them from the right sources. When you get them from the right sources, you're gonna receive all the right nutrients, the right minerals that your body needs on a day-to-day -day basis. You're gonna receive everything from the wholesome natural foods. But when you go the route of refined and processed, then here comes diabetes, here comes heart disease. And on top of that, you add saturated fats, and here comes arterial sclerosis, the plaque and the hardening of the arteries. So your body is constantly working to keep you alive. Your pancreas is doing its job, but after a while, it can get overworked, just like any other organ in the body. So here's some action steps. Number one, no fast food. Number two, get your carbs from healthy sources. Get them from your legumes, your nuts, your berries, your seeds, your fruits and vegetables. These are the sources that we want to get our carbs. And I'm sure you're thinking, how do I prepare these things? Well, continue to look on Living Foods 365 YouTube channel and you'll get all the information that you need. So again, 60, 30, 10. We want to make sure that everything we're doing is going to be for optimal health and wellness. So there's going to be a list of foods that you can eat for to, to get the right carbs, starch, sugar, and fiber into your system. The fiber is very important, soluble fiber, insoluble fiber. We're going to do a video on that later on. But please make sure that we're looking at the healthy, wholesome, natural foods that's going to give you the right amount of carbohydrates. Next video, we're gonna be talking about protein. And could you be taking too much protein? If you have any type of kidney failure, 
you have to watch the video on protein. All right, till then, see you in the next video.